I really just don't want to walk. When I set out to share my Camino experience, I knew I wanted it to be an authentic account of what it's like to walk across Spain. It tested every part of myself, but I had no idea it would be such an emotional roller coaster. Doing this by myself and every little footstep is painful. Some moments if I could walk forever. Uh, I think I'm addicted to the adrenaline of walking. And other times I just want to quit, especially now. The first half of this walk has been physically painful, but I don't think anything could have prepared me for the journey across the Meseta, where I'm tested in what seems like every way possible. My mental strength to move through it, spiritually, emotionally. The Spanish Meseta is a stretch of over 100 miles on the Camino Francis that runs from Burgos to Lyon. It's flat, hot, and shadeless. This week, oh, I'm going to have to push myself beyond my limitations to see how strong I really am. Well, I can't bend my toe anymore. Emotionally, I just feel a lot of things right now. Physically, it burns so hot in the heat. And mentally, to finish it. I think when people call the meseta grueling, I think it's because you're with yourself. I'm Crystal, and this is Von Halle Adventures. Like we're climbing up this today, all uh, the way up there. I'm excited. Get a little elevation gain in. It's not too hot out. There's a nice breeze. I definitely finally feeling my butt, my thighs, and my calves. Sir Grumpy Eric. Yeah. Are you gonna go? You're gonna go in? Okay, I gotta wait for this. <laughs> I wanna see if there's leeches. I'll let him take the first. <laughs> Would you go in if, if they aren't? No. No, me neither. <laughs> Look at this water. I just think this looks like the kind of water where things are in there that you don't necessarily wanna find out what's in there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Bless it be. Woo! It is big. Wow! Ah! It's wonderful! <laughs> Paul, you're gonna jump? No. <laughs> My feet in. It's not now. I'm out. And your feet reached? <laughs> Barely. Oh, it's better yeah. than the pancakes. <laughs> it's better than the pancakes. If it feels a little warm over there, I'm sorry. I'm stuck here. <laughs> oh, I was like, ah! Uh, how, how are you feeling? I feel terrific. Okay, it's it's just it. so sorry, wonderful. It's <laughs> that's funny. Well, my first night in an albergue, this guy comes in in his little jockstrap thing. What? Yeah. Just in his like jockstrap? Out of the showers. <laughs> Italian guy, I guess. <laughs> it's a European thing. He was just so too cool for his pants. I don't know. And but he had the jock strap on. Of all things, why would you put the jock strap on after you shower? I European mean, thing, I Tammy. think you just get to a point where you don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think about your Masetta experience thus far? I was expecting the Masetta to be boring. Yeah. Honest truth. I actually think it was the best part of the Camino so far. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Just a breathtaking vistas. Yeah. The sunrises, the sunsets. I'm not going to lie and tell you that it was a fantastic journey the whole entire time. We just happened to all be staying. We're all staying at the same hotel tonight. Isn't that great? I love it. Oh. 
My bladder is so excited. I took off my pants so fast when I got in the room. Oh my gosh. Today was 25 kilometers. It was a nice long day. I think it's one of the longest days I've ever done. But it was so nice meeting Paul and Eric and Tammy and just jumping in the water. Oh, that was such a great end to today. But I'm probably gonna go meet up with them. But I just need to not be on my feet for a hot second here. Oh. Another day on the Vesetta. I'm not not excited to walk. I'm just, it's like another pushing through like a barrier of mental, mental stuff that I'm going through. Like just feel into it and go anyways. It's just about 7 a.m. So I guess we should get going. Such is the life of a pilgrim. There's two different ways on the section to go because one is with cars and this way that I'm gonna go is without cars. And I think it's a little bit longer. It kind of shows on the Camino Ninja app, but it doesn't say how much longer. Though I'd prefer not to be around cars. There is look at everywhere. Look at all this. Today I'm hurting, <laughs> hurting way earlier than usual and it's the first day that I just kind of, I want to completely stop the Camino but I really just don't want to walk. Like it's taking all of my mental focus and devotion to keep going right now because I'm limping, my blister has popped and I'm limping along and every little footstep is painful. I'm really learning what it means to mind over matter. And I think that's one of the biggest lessons of this experience is that I really don't want to walk right now. Just really don't want to walk. Mm difficult day. Okay, looks like there's a place to sit real quick. Then probably the hardest day I've had so far. Maybe the only oh, thing. Just a case of wine. I feel like it'll help. So, one of the best parts of the Camino, and I mentioned this before, is people. Hence, Look at these beautiful people. I've been kind of seeing them for the past couple of days. I'm dropping my stuff already because I had two glasses of wine. My feet were hurting something fierce. I saw them and I was like, I'll have another glass of wine. Sounds great. Now I feel wonderful. So walking sounds awesome right now. It's hot. I don't care. <laughs> I got my water. And my feet feel so much better. Only six kilometers left. I totally got this. <sighs> Best part of the Camino is the people. I wish I could, you know, I actually don't know where I'm going. I should probably stop real quick. <laughs> okay, figured out where I'm going. 
Okay, which road am I supposed to be on though? Okay, don't worry everybody, I found my way. Back on the beautiful Maceta. Once again, here we go. I kind of give you an idea of what the Maceta is. Just on the side of a road. It's nothing but wheat fields. I could be anywhere right now. I could be in Nebraska. That's kind of what it feels like. It's hot. I smell funny. There's nothing around. At this point, I don't see any other pilgrims. And all you have to do, everything is in your head. There's nothing particularly beautiful to look at. You're just with yourself. So I think the grueling part, yeah, it's hot, but it's all in your head. And there's just so much stuff you have to come up over mentally. I think a lot of people come here with grandiose ideas of how beautiful and fun the Camino will be had it is. It's incredibly fun. And there's so many parts that are absolutely beautiful and this is beautiful in its own way. But it's difficult. And sometimes just alongside the hideaway, just walking for hours and that's all you do. And that is the Maceta. These last six kilometers on the Maceta are brought to you by wine. It makes you forget everything about the pain in your body. It makes you forget you have feet. The final six kilometers be brought to you by dehydration. Also, my crystal did not finish the Camino. Okay, I feel like it's getting closer. I say that every 10 minutes, but it's been 30. <laughs> So I am staying in an old monastery and they have chants playing in the reception area the entire time. It's, I heard that and I was like, that sounds really vibey. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna do that. Oh my God, this bathroom, a bathtub. Oh, this is super nice hair dryer. What? Oh. And it has air conditioning. Look at my hair. You can tell it's hot. Oh my God. I am only on my second to last day now on the Maceta. The past couple days, I really haven't felt like filming. And yeah, it's almost complete with this Maceta section. And it's been really trying me. Like after I'm done walking, I'm super hyped when I'm walking. I feel I have this goal and all this great stuff and going on and I feel really inspired. And then at the, after I'm done, I have lunch and I just break, figure out what I want to do for the rest of the day. I feel like depressed and questioning everything about life. And it's not that I wanna quit, it's not like that, but it's just feelings of 
being depressed, without being depressed, if that makes sense. And just feeling like I've done anything with my life, what's the point of life? Not in a suicidal way, but just in a overall way. And it's been really interesting to go into that and not hide from it and journal about it and see where that's coming from. So I'm really just having a lot of that every day in the afternoon lately. sure what to do. I'm already at my albergue that I have a reservation for. My luggage is being transported to, but it's only 9 a.m. And this whole town is completely shut down. Huh. I think I might just try to get a reservation at the next place and see if I can get a hold of and my luggage transport. I'm gonna try doing it, see what I can do. This is so annoying right now. My WhatsApp is not working because it says I don't have internet connection, but I swear WhatsApp is supposed to work without internet connection. I feel like I should just keep walking. Uh, I don't know. This is the issue with luggage transport because I could go, but I can't get a hold of these people. Uh. <laughs> danced my way all through today. After I was having that moment, I put my headphones on and I think I'm addicted to the adrenaline of walking. It feels great. I don't ever want to stop. Yeah, my feet were able to just go. I just know like every about 10 to eight kilometers to take my shoes off, give a little massage, put some more lotion on my feet or the stuff that's kind of like Vaseline, like this salve. I can just keep going. I was having a great time. And I did about 17.7 kilometers or 18. I'm not sure, somewhere around there. Anyway, but I think there's a restaurant at where I'm staying tonight downstairs. I love when the albergues and hostels have restaurants attached. Whew, makes it a lot nicer. Easy. Today is the last day on the Vesetta. I don't know why, but as I'm walking right now, I'm just overcome with emotion and <sighs> when people said, it was a life-changing experience for them. Anytime I've talked to people that have finished it, I think this experience is really trying to, starting to work me. And somebody said the first third, the journey is physical. The second is mental. And the third is just pure joy. And you get the hang of it. I'm very much in that mental space right now. I think I'm feeling really determined. I think I'm just feeling really proud of myself right now. Cause this is not easy. Especially when I'm in pain and doing this by myself and yeah, I just feel a lot of things right now. And I wish I could share or name them, but maybe I just don't need to. Oh man. It's officially very hot. Oh, my feet. Oh, I only have eight kilometers, eight or nine kilometers left before Lyon. But I need to take a break because there's no stops between here and there. 
Oh my gosh. Bye bye. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna finish this Masetta. Well, I only have a mile and a half left to my hotel, but my foot, oh, my toe, I can't bend my toe anymore. It won't, I took off my shoes and I can't bend it. Ah, oh, I'm gonna take off my socks and just, cause I can't bend my toe at all. Oh God. Oh, this is really trying me right now. Oh, God. Poor little toe. Oh. <laughs> oh, I made it! <laughs> I can't even stand. Oh, I booked it on that last mile. I just got I just spoke it, took everything I had to finish that. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, I did it. Oh. 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 Wow. <sighs> I cannot believe this section of the Camino is over. And where I still have a ways to go, I think a little over 300 kilometers till I go to Santiago. I can't believe it's over. I can't, I'm, I can believe I did it, but I'm so proud of myself right now. And with the heat wave doing the Masetta. And the way I feel right now is so accomplished in a way that I definitely grew as a person, as a woman, I learned so much about myself. And the one word that kept coming to mind throughout this experience as it got harder for me was altrea. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's a Latin word and it means beyond. I kept saying that. Today, that was my mantra. Altrea, Altrea, Altrea. Like, I wanted to give up so many different times. It meant to go beyond the pain for me, and it meant to also go beyond what I believed about myself, to go beyond what I thought my capabilities were, and to go into beyond, into possibility, into something further, in a spiritual way, in an emotional way, in a mental way. And somehow I just focused, and it put me in this meditative state to really get me through it, and I think I learned how strong I can be. And so for anybody contemplating the Masetta, because it may not be the most <sighs> beautiful part in some ways, I think, compared to the Pyrenees, but it was definitely a highlight so far of this trip because it was the inner work. And I think when people call the, the Masetta grueling, I think it's because you're with yourself. And when you're with yourself, I think that can be the hardest work of all, but do it. And in it, I think you'll find exactly what you need, because I know I did. And so with that, I'll catch you all in the next one. Ah! Bye.